Seam Ripper is a sweet little gadget designed for the rare occasions when you make mistakes. Um, it is intended to very quickly and easily take stitches out of your fabric in order to assure that you don't tear the fabric as you're working with it. Seam Rippers come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. If you bought a brand new machine, you almost certainly got a Seam Ripper with it. Usually it's one of these smaller ones where the cap comes off and makes a handle to go with the Seam Ripper. Regardless of what your seam ripper looks like, they all function the same. They've all got this little roundy ball head at the top and a pointy sharp finger. But keep in mind the finger there is not sharp. The blade is actually in this little U gouge here and that's what you'll use to cut your stitches. Now there are two different ways to do um, stitch removal using a seam ripper. There's the correct way and there's the fast way. <laughs> and the correct way, the way that good girls use, is to slip the seam ripper underneath the stitch there, pink, and then cut the stitch. As you're using your seam ripper, if you find that it does not easily cut the stitches and you kind of have to force it a little bit, I mean it should slide right through, hot knife through butter kind of stuff. And if it doesn't do that, it's time to replace your seam ripper. They do not have an indefinite shelf life and they really should be replaced at least once a year depending on how often you sew. Once you've done that, if you've slipped it under maybe every third stitch or so, you should be able to pull your pieces apart with absolutely no damage to your fabric. Now this is the correct way to use a seam ripper and it really is the wisest one. Sometimes though you're struggling with getting the stitches to come out or you've sewn it really tight or maybe you're in a hurry or you just don't care and it's faster to go in this way which is also a method a lot of people use. Peel it back, pop it in the center and then open it out. As you're doing this two things to look out for. Number one, be careful that you're only getting the thread and not the fabric because if I'm through my fabric here and I shove, I'm going to tear my fabric on my project. Second thing to look out for is that you're not pulling the fabric out of shape as you're going, particularly if you've got a curved edge. If you're taking out a seam and you pull on the fabric, you could distort the shape and then it'll be hard to sew back together later. The whole point of the seam ripper is that you don't want to toss these pieces of fabric out. I want to take out a mistake seam and then sew the correct seam in its place. Best way to do that? Seam ripper.